Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Being a bartender for a few years gave me the opportunity to try different cocktails. There are many that are perfect to sip anytime. Others are great as an aperitif or digestif, while some are ideal during a specific season. Now, here's a classic one that I enjoy during the cold months as an aperitif. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Manhattan cocktail. This oldie is so nice to sip before dinner and also perfect to serve at your next soiree. It's super quick to make and requires just a few ingredients. If you like rye whiskey or bourbon, you should certainly try it. So my friends, let's get mixing. This is the glass I'll be using, and it's called a Nick and Nora. But originally, the glass was called Little Martini, which has a similar look to a regular martini glass, but smaller. These glasses hold about 5 ounces and are actually perfect for a Manhattan. The other alternative is a champagne coupe. You know the ones our grandparents used before the flutes took over? They're shorter, round, and shallow. So either one is perfect to serve it in. To keep the glass very cold, we'll add an ice cube and fill it with cold water. Then set aside until we're ready to pour the mix in. Alright, so I'll put that away. Now, here's a cocktail mixing glass, but a regular shaker is fine. And we'll pour either rye whiskey or bourbon. Although I'm a whiskey drinker, I prefer bourbon for this drink. Both are acceptable. Then comes the sweet vermouth, just one part, followed by a few dashes of Angostura bitters. Now, this is how I like mine. I add some cherry juice to the mix. Today, I'm using Amarina Fabri from Italy, but other times, I like to use Luxardo. Many recipes call for maraschino cherries, but be careful. This is not the kind you buy at a grocery store because there's no maraschino liqueur in it. It's corn syrup. I will eventually show you how to make the real stuff, so stay tuned. So we'll add a teaspoon of juice in our mixing glass. If you want to add a little more, go ahead. Next, we'll add a cup of ice cubes and, using a bar spoon, we'll stir until the mixing glass gets chilled, like very cold, about a minute. We'll discard the water and ice cube from our Nick and Nora glass, place a strainer over the mixing glass, and pour the mix into the prepared cocktail glass. See, this is a perfect glass for a Manhattan. The amount is just right. We'll then garnish it with a couple cherries. And my friends, this is our Manhattan cocktail. This old classic cocktail is a bit strong with a smooth finish to it. With only four ingredients, it's quite easy and simple to make. I like to sip one as an aperitif before dinner, but also to serve it when I'm hosting a soiree. This is a perfect drink for all of you whiskey and bourbon drinkers out there. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, cheers! Oh, <laughs>